ratings. In this video, I'll give you a basic introduction to the structure and function of the nervous system. Let's get started. We'll start off with what it is. The nervous system is a large network of nerves throughout the body. The nervous system allows us to do pretty much everything intellectual or physical we can do. We need our nervous system for all aspects of what we think, feel, and do. We need it to keep us alive. This means any physical actions like running, any emotions or thoughts, or any reactions like crying or sweating, we need our nervous system for all of these. While most living organisms, like the jellyfish, and others like worms and your dog, have nervous systems, ours is especially complex and sophisticated. Ours compared to theirs is incredibly intricate and insane. We need our nervous system this way, so we can perform complex tasks such as planning, reasoning, socializing, and much, much more. A jellyfish might not be able to plan for the future because its nervous system is just too basic and not sophisticated like ours. All right, now on to functions of the nervous system. The nervous system acts as a communication system between the body's internal cells and organs and the external world. This enables the brain to obtain information about what's going on inside and outside the body and respond appropriately. The functions of the nervous system boils down to three main functions, and that is receiving information, processing the information, and coordinating a response to the information. We're going to explore these steps in more detail right now. All right, the first function, receiving information. The nervous system receives sensory information from the external environment through neurons located within sense organs such as the eyes, skin, and ears. So for example, the external environment is a tree, and the tree is able to be seen through the eyes, which is a sense organ, and the eyes transfer the sensory information to the nervous system, which is in this case, the brain. Continuing on with the first basic function, the nervous system receives information from within various parts of the body, such as the muscles, joints, and tendons, which it communicates to the brain. So it's not only external factors like the tree, it's also inside the body that communicates to the brain. Now on to the second basic function, processing information. When detected, the information is sent to the brain for processing and interpretation. For example, you see a spider, which is right here, and the brain will process the spider is a processing, so it's processing it, as dangerous. So it has to process the information. It can't just receive it. Now the third basic function, coordinating a response to the information. The brain will coordinate a response to initiate an appropriate action. By sending messages to the muscles, glands, or internal organs, muscles can move, glands can release hormones, and other particular internal organs can perform their function. Now let's see the three basic functions in action. First, receiving the sensory information. The spider is seen by your eye, and the eye sends the sensory information to your brain for processing. Number two, processing the information. The brain processes the information, which is a spider, and sees it as dangerous. It's a, it's a threat to our survival. Number three, creating a response. The brain says, we've got to run away because it's a dangerous spider. Now, this is an example, and you might not always run away. You might sit there and do nothing, or you might go and try to kill the spider. But whatever you decide to do is because the nervous system decided to coordinate that response. Well, this marks the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. This video was created by Simply Explained.